Hello, my dear learners. Welcome to a new session here at Skillfident with your mentor, Namita. In today's class, I am going to share with you 10 amazing self-learning tips in order to become fluent in English in the next three months. Yes, you heard it right. Three months is the time that you need to give yourself right now. Tell me, for how long are you going to give yourself an excuse that I cannot speak in English for n number of reasons? For how long are you going to crib, cry and complain about not being able to speak English fluently? Is English speaking the ultimate goal of your life? Isn't there anything else that you want to do? Aren't there more nice and different skills that you want to acquire in this lifetime? Aren't there more goals that are attached to your being able to speak in English? So don't simply get stuck into English. Right now, you are just so very badly tangled into learning English and not being able to speak fluently. Attending classes, buying courses and not being able to speak English fluently. Talking to other English learners, practicing English with them and not being able to speak English fluently. So today's challenge is note down the date and from today onwards till the next three months you have to dedicate yourself in such a way that you build the skill and you get over with it. Of course there are always scope for improvements and we'll keep working on improving our skills but speaking basic English is something which should not require more than three months. We are not going to prolong this process. We are not going to linger on with English speaking. Oh my God, I cannot speak in English. How long will it take? I am telling you that it will not take more than three months. But how? This is the 10 step guide I'm going to share with you right now. Follow the entire 10 step guide. Follow these steps that I'm sharing with you. If you are persistently working on all these things, then nothing and nobody can stop you from speaking in English fluently and confidently. So if you are with me in this challenge and if you believe that self-learning can help you acquire the skills, you, it will help you improve your speaking skills in English, then take up this challenge and start working with me. Now, the very first thing that you have to remember whenever you are on this challenge or whenever you are building your English speaking skills in a certain way is that you have to invest in active learning. Yes, active learning. Now, what is active learning? When you are actively involved in learning something, be it any skill, you have to be present right there. You might not have realized, but your learning style is very passive. You play a video, sit in front of it and in the halfway you just skip it or you just end watching it and then you move on to the next video. When you are actively involved, you have to sit with a notebook, with pen, you have to note down the vocabulary, you have to notice the intonation of the person you are listening to. And for that you have to listen to proper professional teachers. If you are listening to English learners speaking coming sharing their views you're just getting inspired and motivated that is fine there you don't need active listening this is something which you can do while working but if you are giving your time to build that skill you're serious about it you're actually willing to learn then you have to be actively involved so watch videos of professionally certified qualified teachers trainers who have some wonderful techniques to share note down their vocabulary because the way they are speaking the way they are flowing with with the language is something where you have a lot of scope for learning you can learn a lot from them how they speak how they pronounce how they uh, convey their message how are they being able to express themselves so learn from them but note down your learning everything has to be recorded so be actively involved Try not to indulge in a lot of passive learning, okay? Now, the second tip for all of you is that you have to set clear goals. 
Now, speaking in English is not your goal. I know that. You might say, oh, my goal is to become fluent in English. No, that is not your goal. It is not a hobby. If it is just a hobby, you would not be watching one video after another. You are serious about it, but your approach is not serious. Why do you want to become fluent in English? Because you want to get a promotion in your office or you want to get a job in a multinational company or you want to travel the world or you want to visit your relatives or children or, or siblings and you want to have good command over English language. Your goals are associated, your goals are com directly attached with English. That is why you want to build this skill. So write down your goal, the four or five goals or even if it is a single goal, write it right now and you have to accomplish the goal in the next three months. You will accomplish the goal of speaking in English and that will lead you to accomplish more goals. I hope I'm being clear here. Now the third thing that you need to do is you have to prioritize English learning over everything else. If you are still involved into many other activities, you're taking it very casually. Okay, if I get time, then I'll, I'll practice English. Or if I uh, ever go to any institute, I'll practice English. Then you'll never be fluent in English. You have to make it a priority of your life. Suppose a person wants to lose weight. Then their priority is to lose weight first. They cannot just keep it on hold. You have to take care of your diet, you have to take care of the exercises you're involved in, you have to take care of the portion, you have to be mindful of everything. Your health is your priority and once you've lost the weight, the desired weight, you move on to accomplishing other things. So it is the same thing right now. Accomplish this. We have had enough excuses till now. No more excuses, no more denial. Complete the whole thing that is required right now within this span of three months. So prioritize your English learning. The fourth thing that you need to do is you have to be very regular with your practice. I know that there are so many reasons that you will give. Mama, I couldn't do it because I had to go out. I couldn't do it because there was an emergency. I had a meeting. The people who actually believe that they have to be fluent in English. They take out time for English practice no matter what. You can utilize your commutation time. You can utilize the time when you are simply cooking. You're taking a bath. You're just getting ready for your work. You are going for a walk. You can utilize that time for listening to good podcasts. You, do, you can utilize that time in listening to good speakers. And whenever you're alone, you can practice talking to yourself. You can give yourself situations and scenarios. So practice regularly. When I say every day, it has to be every day. Not even weekends should be spared. You can practice self uh, talking on weekends also who's stopping you nobody you are the only person who'll stop yourself from practicing every day be regular with your practice again no excuses for three months now the fifth thing that you need to do is you have to break the process of learning English into chunks don't accumulate a lot of learning stuff for yourself. Okay, today only I'm going to work on my grammar. Today only I'll learn 10 new words. Today only I'll work on a particular sound, the pronunciation sound. Today only I'll learn few idioms and phrases. No. Work on your English learning journey in chunks. That's what you need to do. So break this process into small portions. The very first thing which is important for all of you is to be able to speak or express your ideas in the most simplest manner. When you're listening to people who are speaking good English, try to speak like them. The first thing is just expressing yourself, your ideas, your thoughts, your imagination. That's it. It can be incorrect. You are allowed to make mistakes. Now, once you're confident in just letting the words flow out of your mouth, then we move on to improving the whole construction of sentences. Then comes the grammar's role. Okay, this is what I'm speaking wrong. Once you're done with your grammar part also, like I'm speaking more or less 80 to 85% correct English. Now I can move on to adding good vocabulary. I can step up. I can level up. Now you can add vocabulary, idiom, phrases. 
so polishing part can always be worked on but break it into chunks don't accumulate everything for yourself at once okay now the sixth thing is that you have to actually list multiple resources for yourself i know most of you are depending on youtube videos simply listening to different people coming here and speaking sharing their experiences guys how i learned to speak in english you're just dependent on that that is just inspiring and motivational content what about learning what about the proper guide guiding resources for you so depend on books also at the same time not just youtube videos depend on some of the podcasts depend on some of speeches depend on reading more stories depend on some content which helps you in self improvement depend on working on other skills using english as a medium so have multiple resources don't depend on just one that youtube is the god no read more books listen to other people talking about other things about other skills M watch english movies everything should be right there in a variety for you then you will learn multiple things you'll acquire multiple kind of vocabulary you'll you'll be more open minded if you have multiple resources so have multiple resources for learning english on your own now the seventh thing that you need to have in this whole process of working of self learning especially is that you need to have a guide a mentor a coach who can show you the right path now this person has to be suitable for your needs one person cannot be for everyone so somebody you can connect immediately when you listen to that person you feel that the person is capable of helping you in taking you to the next level of this journey should be your mentor the person should have the right attitude should have the positive outlook should be having enough knowledge you should have that faith in the person that yes the person has knowledge now youtube being so popular there are lakhs of creators who have no knowledge of english who cannot speak fluently will come here and just simply share their experiences it is so simple that you pick up content from somebody who is already learned who knows a lot of things and just paste it on your on your channel it is it is very simple these days you have to find the right mentor the right guide somebody who you want to be like choose that person and that person will help you you can write the e an email and there are people who are ready to help you i'm one such person who's ready to help each and every one of you and that is why i'm creating this free content here i'm giving you free english lessons all right now the eighth thing is to have organized learning right now your learning is all messed up there is no planning plan your learning write down for 3 months you have to have proper planning now here is this wonderful lesson which i shared on um, uh, it, it was the fifth session here of uh, free english classes that i'm delivering here on youtube so what you need to do you can plan your entire three months there are so many activities i've shared a plethora of activities self learning activities when you fall short of exercises what to practice what to speak how to do it it is a proper guide follow that i'm going to link that wonderful it is an amazing video it's i think i would say that it's it's an elixir for each and every learner go watch it plan your three month schedule based on that and you'll have number n number of exercises you will never fall short of activities to you know speak english about you'll have numerous situations go and watch that video and plan your learning and not just planning is going to help you you have to execute it as well so don't give any more excuses execute have the right resources what all is required and then just go by it so have an organized learning a disorganized learning leads to a disorganized outcome no point doing that the ninth thing that you need to do is you have to eliminate distractions in a world of technological advancement with all the benefits the biggest disadvantage is that we get distracted very easily 
there is a television set which has all the memberships we have prime video we have disney hotstar we have netflix we have geo cinema and what not lot of movies lot of series lot of this that easy to get distracted your phone itself is the biggest distraction if nothing else apart from facebook instagram youtube you will just go shopping you'll order something for yourself endless distraction you are wise enough you are all adults now you can keep yourself away from distractions now if it is a goal if it is something which you have to do in a limited time 3 months is the time that you have given yourself then avoid distractions and start working i know you can do it you're all very smart that ways so you have this 3 months no distractions for these 3 months the last thing and it is the ultimate thing which you have to work on is that you have to stay motivated it is very easy to get demotivated every day when you don't see results when you feel that the other person is speaking better than you you get demotivated and ultimately you quit stay motivated and here is where the learning content which is available for free on youtube helps you it keeps you motivated it gives you some learning lessons every day stay connected with positive people people who motivate you people who inspire you staying motivated is very important so only if you are motivated that internal motivation is there you can motivate yourself every single day to practice english be regular with it prioritize it avoid distractions go for self learning choosing your own resources then you will be fluent in next 3 months so stay motivated write it down somewhere i'm motivated enough to learn english on my own and i'll be able to speak english correctly a good english in the most fluent manner in the next three months write it down somewhere that's the biggest motivation for all of you so i wish you all the best i wish that you all become fluent in english in next three months how many of you are going to take this challenge with me let me know in the comment section i want to see who has reached till here and who is ready to take up the challenge say ma'am i'm ready to take this challenge up and i'll show you speaking english fluently after 3 months i want to see you all speaking in english fluently and confidently in the next 3 months so my best wishes are always with you keep practicing your english take a very good care of yourself bye bye for now